having trouble sticking your finish, maybe falling all over yourself over the course of your golf swing, stick around. You really don't want to miss this one. We're calling this the two swing drill. Mm -hmm. And man, oh man, will it cure all of the above that I just mentioned. Stay with us. But before we start, of course, we would love for you to be a part of Wisdom and Golf, so please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment or question down below and give us a thumbs up. And hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now, many of you are reacting to an out-of-balance condition. So first and foremost, when Sav is standing nice and tall, you'll notice that everything stacks up. Her head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles, right? Mm -hmm. So if you lean back just a tad, Stav, and don't, don't take a step. Core right? strength. <laughs> Core strength. So right away, you felt your abs engage and your quads mm -hmm. and your tibia muscles, mm -hmm. anterior tibialis, okay? But then when you come back into balance, everything relaxes. So show me a nice balanced posture at a dress, okay? So now you want to go into a nice balanced finish. Mm. So if you face the camera and show us what a balanced finish looks like, please. Not that. <laughs> Stay right there. So you actually want to be just a little inside. There you go. And you're pro applying pressure through the arch of your foot through the knee. Mm -hmm. Now your head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankle is stacked up. Yeah. Does it feel nice and relaxed in your finish? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the finish we're striving to get into. Now, if you're too wide, you're going to have a tendency to have trouble getting into that finish. So we want shoulder width apart, slightly toed open, so you get better front to back stability and better side to side stability. So now, as an added measure of insurance that you stay in balance, we're going to do two swings. Mm -hmm. The reason why. Now, Sav, you're going to introduce our viewers, those who haven't seen us before, to the perpetual motion drill. So perpetual motion means that we're, we're doing a specific task. The task is cutting grass. We're just going to cut grass in both directions, back and through, without stopping. So you're going to do about 10 swings in a row. So as Sav is swinging back and through without stopping, you'll notice she can't lose her balance. That's good, Sav. <laughs> <laughs> you said 10. No, I was going, going for it. She was going. The other Energizer Bunny was going for 10. So in order for you to continue, you can't lose your balance. So if the command in the brain is continue cutting grass back and through without stopping, you basically you'll never lose your balance. Mm -hmm. But if you say, okay, um, let's hit the ball. Mm -hmm. So for many of you, going after the golf ball is going to prevent you from achieving that initiation of that golden kinetic chain, right? Mm -hmm. So if you face the camera again, do that perpetual motion there, Sav. Observe how Savannah's lead leg grabs the ground every time she comes through. You guys see that right there? And notice how beautifully centered she stays in both directions. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit a golf shot with two swings in a row. So if you tell your brain you got two swings to make and your the ball is getting in the way of your first swing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a draw here, Sav. Yeah. So we're doing two swings in a row to the left of that intermediate point and we're going to stick the finish. Very good. Now you'd be able to go and do a third swing if you needed to, right? Yeah. Perfect. So let's do that again. Very nice. Wonderful. I just need to close the club face a bit. Pardon me? Need to close the club face a bit. Either that, well, if you look at, yeah, your side spin is 79 to the right. That's pretty, that's really, really straight. Yeah. And uh, by the way, for go a strong back grip. for a strong grip. Go back there. <laughs> look how strong that grip is. Everybody's mm -hmm. asking, how come she's not snap hooking the bejesus out of it? Mm -hmm. That's because Savannah's swinging toward the target 
and not toward the golf ball. If she swung at the ball, she'd lose her balance and she snap hooked the sucker, probably hit her back into her butt, okay? <laughs> so hmm. we're delivering to the left of the intermediate point, left edge of that bunker. Oh, that's why, Sav. Again, Moo, what? you forgot to tell us that the computer is already lining you up to the left. Oh. <laughs> there you go, now you can go. So two swings in a row, left of the intermediate point. Boom. Awesome. Much better. Holy mackerel, that was big. That was long. So now what I want you to do is deliver one shot to the left edge of that bunker, stick your finish, Nice finish, Sav. Thanks. So, yeah, th that, That's really that green's long. just way too short for you. <laughs> that Let me four, go fade. That four hybrid is now uh, a solid club and a half farther than what you were hitting last year. I'll try fade. Well, okay then, Sav. Fade on command. Wow. With that strong grip. Wasn't that spectacular? Okay, get out of here. Goodbye. That was awesome. So at the end of that swing, Sav, yeah. you could have gone all day and hit a bunch of other swings, couldn't you? Yep. Okay, so let me go with a little five iron here. We're gonna hit a little fade left of that bunker back to the flag. Two swings in a row and stick the finish. So I see my direction. So here's my direction. See the blur? Two in a row, stick the finish. Lower that club to the grass. Club's in the center, ball forward. We're going two in a row over that left side of the intermediate point. One, two. Drum roll. <laughs> All right. So really important to be dynamically in balance. So as you saw with Sav, as you're doing it back and through without stopping, you can't be out of balance. If you sway, you won't be able to make it back. If you get out in front, you won't be able to make it back to the next swing. So it really centers you forward to back, side to side. The more centered you are, the straighter and farther and more efficient your swing is going to be. So let's get Moo in here and see what he does. All right, Moo. All right. So what club do you have? I'm an 8-iron here. A little smooth 8-iron? Yeah. Do it a little draw, left edge of the bunker? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So let's see. What you like to do is do a little practice swing right next to it, right? Yeah. So your practice swing is going to be two swings yeah. and stick the finish. One. All right. Uh-oh. Forgot. <laughs> so notice you were, I mean, great shot. Right. I'm not going to take that one away from you there, Moo, but. Yeah, my balance was off there. Your balance was off, right? I think my stance was a little too wide on that one. So, well, what was the last thing going through your mind just before you swung? Yeah, so you're delivering uh, the weight of your arms and club through the ball and to the left of the intermediate point. Correct. Two of those in a row? Uh, no. Okay, I there we go. I, <laughs> I just got focused on the shot. Okay, yeah. well, good. Yeah. Well, that's a distraction that I'll, uh, I'll let slide, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Woo! You almost knocked it twice. Yeah. Holy smokes, look at that shot. That got really high. That is gorgeous. How high was that? That got really high. Mm -hmm. So, 203 carry, 104 club speed, but the height on that was 150 feet. Yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Ball speed, 140 miles an hour on an 8-iron. That was compressed. That felt like that was high. That was compressed, Moo. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. So, I didn't... I mean, I was so bewildered by the shot. Did he stick his finish? Uh, yeah. 
You did? Yeah, I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. See ya. See ya. You pass the test. That's it. Boy, I tell you, you see that one take deal? One take wonders we got here. So get out there, perform that two swing drill, do it with a task, right? So you need a specific direction and you're, de you're delivering through an intermediate point and into a picture. You're not doing two swings towards a golf ball. That's never going to work. You can't let that golf ball become your target. So notice as I swung above the ball and I saw a blur above my ball. So if you look at it this way, if I'm doing that fade, that's one to the left, two to the left and stick the finish. So I saw the blur staying to the left of that intermediate point the whole time. So I'm seeing a blur right now staying to the left of that intermediate point. One to the left, two to the left. It started to the left, just a little bit straight. You know, like we, we, talk, we talk about having a straight fade. So Moo, there you go. 200 yards carry yeah. on my five iron. Mm -hmm. And I only had 240 left spin on it. So you were officially three clubs longer than I am. Wow, that's crazy. That's incredible. You know, look at the look at the progress in the last four years. Yeah, that's been pretty. It's like, what? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my gosh! So proud of you, man. Thank you. Hey everyone! All right, check out Moo right here next to me, probably on that side. And Minashi Masari, and, uh, let's hear for them, everybody. Yeah. Gentlemen, deck grid is clear. Fire away. Taking his routine. So what we did, he's got two and a half minutes to hit six balls and 80% of his shots were hitting the grid. I mean, that is a very high percentage for a long drive competitor. And it's all comes down to task. He is, he's got an intermediate point. So first and foremost, he has a flight plan. Depending on the conditions, he needs to go high, he needs to go lower, he needs to be higher spin, lower spin, depending on if he's downwind or into the wind, A, so we need a flight plan. Then he has that intermediate point that leads him into the flight plan. That's when you see him standing behind the ball and taking a look down downfield. And then he gets to the ball, retakes a look at his flight plan, and then lets it go in relation to that. So he's staying with that direction and staying with that direction. And look at how accurate that ball is going. Look, I'm right on my center line right there. And if you're staying with the direction that you want to start the ball and you never come off of that, then you're going to hit a lot of fairways. Now, the second thing that was really important, that is for your, you know, where you want the ball to physically go. Then you need where you want your uh, anatomy to physically go. So we're starting in balance and then we want to finish. We're swinging into a balanced finish and you'll see that most of the time Moo is really sticking his finish and because he has a few in the grid, he can go after it a little bit more and that's where you see him kind of have a recoil back. So sticking the finish is really important. The brain feels where it's at. It stays in balance in the backswing because it knows it needs to go to the stack finish in the follow through head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. So this holding the finish allows you to feel that you could go back into a second swing if need be. So if I had to do two swings to my finish, one, two, and hold the finish. So what allows you to hold the finish is you physically focusing on, hey, I'm going to go stick that finish as I'm swinging to the right edge of my intermediate point into my grid, into my flight plan. All right. So congratulations to Moo. Fantastic job, his first time out, just three and a half years ago, he was just starting golf. Had I told him, listen, you're gonna contend in a long drive co a competition on the world stage, he'd have thought I was crazy. I ain't crazy, man. 
I know talent and that we know our stuff. We've done our homework so we can get you to where you need to go very, very quickly. So take a look at wisdomandgolfpremium.com. Take a look at our senior series. It's good for everyone because it's a, a power uh, style of, of uh, video series. And it'll really give you an overview on how we work at Wisdom and Golf. All right? All the best. See you in the next one.